<laughs> We're here with Gustavus following their semifinal win over Wartburg. We'll start with an opening statement from head coach, and then we'll open up for questions for student athletes. Thank you. Um, first, I just want to congratulate Wartburg on an outstanding season. Um, Doug and Jennifer have done a great job. Um, I think that was the best defensive match that they probably played all year, and they laid it all on the line, um, and I was really impressed with them this match. Um, also, I just thought overall the match was a lot of tenacity um, on defense. Both teams were aggressive going back and forth um, the whole match. I was really proud of our girls, especially after the second set. Um, I think the score we got 12 points um, was really strong. Um, they were really strong in bouncing back from that um, and playing our game. So I was proud of them for that. Roll, this is first time making it to the region championship game. Uh, first time Sweet 16 since mm -hmm. Gretchen was coach, mm -hmm. 1975 I think was the last time they made it to the Sweet 16. So what does that mean to the program and for mm -hmm. these players? I mean, I think it means a lot. Uh, it's been a long time that we've been, you know, working on building this culture and this identity and um, these players have done an outstanding job um, in really embodying that and um, buying in. They have a lot of pride in themselves and, and what they do and they work so extraordinarily hard. Um, so they make me proud every single day but I know that they also make Gustavus and the alums proud. Um, and it means a lot and we're really excited about the opportunity ahead. Nora, uh, Warburg really rolled in the second set and then you guys came out, fought back and got a lead and you in particular had a huge solo block and I think that kind of <laughs> shifted the momentum and uh, everything in your guys' favor. You know, was that a tipping point for you? What were you guys feeling in that third set to get back on track? Yeah, um, I don't know if it would be a tipping point, but it definitely was like, uh, helped shift the momentum. I think big points like that happen in the game all the time. Obviously, like, it's kind of unexpected coming from me. It was kind of lucky, but yeah, for me, it kind of gave me more of that, of that confidence that sometimes can lack in the middle of the game. So I think it was a good turning point for us that kept us rolling to finish the match. And Britt, as a defensive specialist, they have some really hard attackers and you're on the back line. What's your mentality, you know, preparing for such good outside hitters that we forget? Yeah, so we like, in our program, we like to call it um, stealing bacon. So our whole mentality out there is every big kill that they get, just sweep it off, don't, don't think about it, and then just go back out there and try to get under the ball and get a next play. Um, and to follow that up, you guys played Northwestern at home this season, went to five sets. It was the first time you guys had lost a moment in a couple of years, actually. So how does that help you with the fami familiarity with knowing Northwestern and now you get another chance at them tomorrow night? Um, yeah, because it could either be Northwestern or lacrosse. Or, we, be, yeah. we beat lacrosse. Yeah. Um, you had both of them. Yeah, yeah. and lost Northwestern. That was obviously a, like a really tough battle for us. It was 15, 13, and 5. So we definitely would love to have the opportunity to come back and give, us, give our all to them again because I think we definitely match up well against them. And, they do have a target on their back, and we're ready to work hard and try to get that title. Congrats, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.